Hello, you beautiful sons of witches. <coughs> I'm Tez, and this is Making Cheers. So, resin skulls. This will be for Halloween. I'm going to put them on the step outside. I think they look really cool. Little tea lights on top, maybe. Um, so, to make them out of resin, I need something to mould from. I'm going to print them off from my 3D printer. You can make yours out of clay. The only reason I didn't is I didn't have any left. And I haven't got any money left. So now I've printed it out. Here it is. It's pretty cool. So I need to plug some of these holes. So the mould doesn't get... Pardon me. Um, the mould doesn't get trapped in there. And I don't think the resin will fill anyway. So I'm just going to block these little bits. And then we'll get moulding. So that's all blocked. I'm pretty happy with that. That should be able to grab all the little details. So I'm going to put it in a mould like that. So we want a mother mould. That's what it'll sit in. And then the stuff we're going to mould it from is dragon skin. Now I'm not. I know not everyone will have that to hand, but you can use the silicon that you put around baths. Um, but you'll need a few tubs of that. I think it's couple of quid each I think but it is worth it I'm just gonna use the proper stuff that I've got to hand because I might as well use it um, so the mother mold that's the stuff that will sit in I'm gonna use it from this it's just scrap um, uh, PVC that I've got left this is actually packing but because I've printed off in such an awkward size I'm gonna have to use that my plan was just to use the bottom of a, a milk plastic milk um, carton um, but yeah it's a bit of an awkward size so I'm gonna have to make it out of that so it's time to get our scruffs on and this is how I moulded oh, the silicon if I can get my jacket in right then let's get this cut out to fit this Okay, so once our mother mould is cut out, we can apply a popsicle stick to the top of the skull or the bottom of the skull, as long as it's on the biggest surface area so the resin of the bubbles can escape. When it comes to demoulding, Right, now that's made, let's get this <laughs> silicon rubber mixed up and in the mould. As I say, you don't have to use this. You could use the little cartridges you get um, to go around baths. Just cut the top off, pour it in. Works just the same. It's just I've got this to hand. I might as well use it if you've got it, haven't you? You know what I mean? So let's get it mixed up. Okay, so now we've got our mould for the resin. 
just need to give that a little clean up inside just in case it's got any gunk and plastic off of this it's going to pick up the um 3d lines I'm not too bothered because it's going to need to clean up anyway um, i'm not going to be too precious with this it's going to have air bubbles i know that but it's to sit outside on halloween so it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect um yeah so let's get some resin mixed up put them in there let's settle then we're going to heat gun to it heat gun as much as possible i found if you heat gently heat the resin <coughs> excuse me if you gently heat the resin it makes it like a watery and it lets the air bubbles escape to the top and then you can burn them off um, but if you warm it up too much you're going to exotherm which is like a speedy reaction of the chemicals that you don't want because they cure too quick um, so it's just a gen gentle gentle warm and see what it looks like <laughs> exciting so mixing the resin and pigment this is obviously sped up but when i mix it i was going nice and slowly for about five minutes you don't want to mix too fast you're just putting more air bubbles into the mixture and then i poop it in my vacuum chamber for about 10 to 15 minutes to get rid of them pesky little bubbles then I got my little blowtorch and I burnt all the bubbles off the top so it's looking pretty good so now I just need to clean up and sand down So before you see the results of that skull, it's time to make some more with some different ideas like fairy lights and some different colours. So I need somewhere for my candle to sit, so I'm just drilling some holes around a little circle that's the same diameter as the tea light candle and with the sanding bit on my Dremel I join them holes together. So once I was happy with them, not bubble free totally, but they look pretty cool. Then I'll put two layers of lacquer just to protect them. And also the lacquer next to resin. Hey Roz, do you hear that weird noise? dark in here. Let's put a light on. Why the lights work in? Let's go from the closet. What the
if you made it this far then thank you much appreciated um, my videos seem to be doing a little bit better now um, that's all thanks to you guys and machine with Joe it's been a massive help um, my views have jumped right up I hope you like my content if you've got any um, positive feedback or negative feedback just drop it in the comments I'll, I'll listen to if I can improve this channel then I will um, that's help to you guys so don't forget to like and subscribe peace out I hope you join me for the next one